The Nigerian Red Cross is willing to work together with the media to improve the dissemination of uh, information and raise awareness among Nigerians about the significance and uh, positive impact of extending a helping hand to the less fortunate. Now, this recommendation was made by the National President of the Nigerian Red Cross during our press brief, uh, briefing to launch a series of activities commemorating World Red Cross Day, observed on the 8th of May each year. Plus TV Manuel Ejene completes the report. On the 8th of May each year, the world is reminded of the dedicated effort of Red Cross members and volunteers in saving victims of wars, famines and natural disasters, despite facing immense danger. And a lot of people who are now this. The Nigerian Red Cross is actively participating in this global initiative with a series of events starting on May the 3rd and culminating on the official day of commemoration. Prince Oliyemisi Agega, the national president of the Red Cross in Nigeria, emphasized the importance of this year's team keeping humanity alive and called on the media to provide comprehensive coverage of Red Cross activities. Is it possible for the press, the press, everything called the press, both social, formal and informal, to come out with a program in a year and declare the press of humanity? Maybe it's just focusing mainly on promoting the interests of people in rendering humanitarian service. Because there are a lot of gaps. Your people, my people, our people are daily suffering. There are a lot of casualties. And you know, like I said, casualty does not have any band. It's bandless. It could occur, maybe there is a plane disaster. It could be trained. You cannot say that people in the plane are poor, but casualties can arise from them. On their part, all the sister agencies also briefed on the collaborative effort they have undertaken to support victims, especially in the northeast and in rural areas. We commend the efforts of the uh, Nigerian Red Cross Society all over the country to support uh, in health, uh, the health systems uh, in response to. Uh, um, to health needs, uh, but for us, we uh, also take this opportunity to remind that uh, humanity is really what uh, brings us all together, and uh, that's why the theme for this year's celebration uh, on 8th of May will be uh, keep the humanity alive. Uh, it has the humanity was the main reason behind the foundation of this international movement 160 years ago, and it will continue to lead uh, our effort and uh, you know, our work uh, for the future. As we commemorate uh, the 8th of May, it is a time to reflect uh, on the numerous contributions that the volunteers are providing within the different communities. As you understand or know, most of these um, uh, situations uh, uh, affects or the disasters affect uh, the local communities and it is at this, at this ground grassroots levels that we find the volunteer network working closely with the communities to alleviate the human suffering that, that is there. The Red Cross also called for more financial support from well-meaning individuals or support through volunteer efforts. Today we see that the volunteers that are in the field all over the world, where war is going on and hunger and crisis are on, our volunteers are dying on the field, which is unfortunate. Apart from Jesus Christ, I don't think anybody else is like the volunteer, one that gives, offers his own or her own life to help another person that is in difficulty. And so, when such a person is doing such a work, it becomes a, a human tool to make this goal realizable and achievable. And so such persons need all our support and need the cooperation from all of us. The media is urged to collaborate with the Red Cross by lighting the positive impact of their humanitarian efforts, which brings hope and relief to those in need. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.